everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at some cosmetics products. Hold on, I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. So we're going to be testing out some Mitt Cosmetics products. Some of them are brand new to me, some of them I used before, and some of them I love and have had for a really long time. So yeah, but before we get into that, if you are new to this channel, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I really hope you will subscribe and stick around. And if you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload so you don't forget anything. And, spoiler alert, coming up will be a 150 subscribers giveaway. So I'll be announcing that whenever the time comes. Right now, at the time I'm filming this, we are at 120 subscribers. So share the news with other small YouTubers or your friends on Instagram. My Instagram is also at BaileyDPen. Every time I upload, I post to Instagram and Twitter. I hope you're not here TJ walking upstairs. He's like an elephant, but yeah. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so it is currently, what time is it? It is currently 12.40, oops. 12.40 in the afternoon. I had to film it this time because my daughter just went down for a nap, as so I made TJ move upstairs to watch football. Anyway, so this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's what we're going to start with. And I'm not sure if this is going to go well or not, only because I moisturized at the beginning of the day. Haven't done it since. But I know this is a moisturizing primer. I used to use it a long time ago. I had it in the shade Fair. But I recently got the other shade Fair Light because it's supposed to be a little more pink undertoned-ish. And I'm definitely not a yellow undertone. I'm more neutral to cool. What on earth is he doing? All right, so, whew. TJ's now back upstairs. I don't know what, he had to come down and make a bunch of noise, so I stopped recording, so now we're re-recording, so hopefully I can lump these two clips together and there's not any awkward skipping. If there is, that's why. So anyways, we're starting with the shade Fair Light. So this is just a regular CC cream. We're gonna try this out. Hopefully it's not too awful dark. If it is, I'm um, in the future, I'll probably have to mix it with something just a touch lighter. There goes the cap, okay. So we're just going to start by squeezing some out on my fingers. We're going to do it just a little bit more than a pump. My cap just fell. Anyway, so I'm just going to start by applying this kind of as a moisturizer. I don't know how dark this is going to be, but we're just going to kind of have to roll with it. Yeah, it's a little dark. <laughs> I don't think I needed that much. Wow. Yeah, I definitely have to mix this one with something, but I'll take this over looking like I have jaundice. Although this might make me look like jaundice. Oh crap. I need to go get something to wipe these hands off. We're back. I'm actually going to use this dampened eco tool sponge to wholly blend all this out. I forgot how much coverage this had. This is definitely too dark for me, but the coverage isn't really, really nice. So hey, that's not bad. Like if I had a fake tan, this would work, but I don't fake tan. We just going to start blending this down the neck, but man, that coverage is really nice. Now, I think if I was better moisturized that this would look dewier on my skin, but I don't look, mind how it looks right now. But yeah, definitely too dark. Like, if you're fair like me, this will definitely be too dark. You'd have to mix it with some sort of lightener. But yeah. It does look really beautiful on the skin. So that was the base product. I'm gonna go pick up that cap and put it back on. But yeah. I definitely think I have, it's got good coverage, it really even at my skin tone now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can still see like all my freckles peeking through, but I mean, my freckles are something that I've always had since I was little, and that's not the end of the world for me. I don't mind if my freckles show through as long as my skin tone is relatively even. Oh, but yeah, that's definitely too dark, but hey, it's got really beautiful coverage and it doesn't look like, it looks like skin. It definitely looks like skin. Okay. The next product I have is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer Corrector in the shade Light Fair. This is the lightest shade. Obviously, we're going to put this under the eyes and use it maybe wherever else I want to. I don't know if it'll be a highlighting concealer. Oh, yeah, that'll be highlighting. <laughs> it's definitely lighter than the uh, foundation. As you can see, yeah, it's definitely a little bit dark for me. I'm going to start by warming it up on my fingers here. And then... I'm just going to start by applying it under my eyes. Just take what's left out of my nose, um, chin, just see if we can get a little bit of a brightening effect because it's got a lot of coverage. And then I'm going to take that same sponge, but the other side, start blending that out. That does have nice coverage. You really do need a little bit. I'm pretty sure I used too much, but hey, the coverage 
like, as you can see, like, even whenever I was, you know, spreading out my eyes, I would keep, you know, taking some and putting it other places on my face. And the coverage was still there, so that's what I mean by good coverage. I probably used too much, but that's okay. That's what this sponge is for. Okay, so, the reason I'm laughing, I smelled that. So I ran out of my Dove bar soap. It's like the sensitive bar soap I use to um, wash my sponges. So I used Kenzie's Aveeno Baby Shampoo because that's all I use it for is makeup brushes. I don't know if I got all of it out, but it smells like it. Like it's not overpowering, but I just realized it's still on there. And that seems like it's kind of not like glowy, but almost an emollient concealer. Um, Cause it has, I don't know, it has a little bit, I can see a little bit of a glow to it. But yeah, so. Now I'm going to set, and I did order the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder, so I'm going to use that with my e.l.f. Um, blush brush, which isn't really much used for blush that much, and I did, like, for lack of a better word, swatch this, and it was pretty translucent, but we're just going to kind of set where we did concealer. Now, that does look a little odd because the foundation shade, or the CC cream shade, is quite a bit darker than that, but... That's okay, let me see. I always kind of tap my under eyes to see if they're fully set because I know that if I don't fully set them that no matter what I have, like I have, the, I have a very like dominant fine line slash crease that I naturally have. So everything kind of settles into there unless I really, really set. But it's really hard for me to like not go overboard with setting so then I look dry. I think we're good. This next product I've had for a really long time. I go back and forth with liking it and not liking it, but it's the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation and Illumination Fair. I'm just gonna take it over the rest of my face lightly. Do I have a fuzz on my face? You know whenever you can feel a fuzz on your face that just happened, it's like right in this area. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Oh, yep, I see it. Maybe. I got it! I think that was a dog hair, that's embarrassing. We have a black lab, but she's got a white spot. Okay, now I'm just gonna lightly roll this, cause this is kind of powdery. And then just start by like, lightly kind of almost buffing it. Like, and this does have some kickback in the pan as you can see. I think that's why I obviously just don't, I'm not crazy crazy about it, but... And this does has a, a touch of coverage, so I'm trying not to use too much. But I just wanna like, slightly set anything that's like not set, if that makes sense. I think we're okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh my gosh. I realize I don't have a brow product. Whatever, this is an It Cosmetics video. I don't have an It Cosmetics brow product. We'll just go with it. And actually, I want to see if I can add some brightness. So I'm going to use uh, my It Cosmetics Use Sculpted Palette. This is one of my like all-time favorite contour products. Sorry as the light goes in and out. That's just technical stuff. But I'm actually going to take... Why is my phone vibrating? Oh, I don't care. I'm going to take my e.l.f. highlighting brush, which is kind of a fluffy brush, and I'm actually going to go into this matte highlight just to see if I can add a little bit of brightness to some areas of my skin, like the center of my forehead, um, just up here, just to almost, almost like lighten up the foundation, you know what I mean? So we'll give this a shot. Maybe take a little bit under the eyes. I don't want to like over powder, but oh, I have a hair in my eye. That is so uncomfortable. Ugh, okay. Then, I'm not gonna use the highlight in here because I also got, is this the last thing I got? This is the last thing. So I ordered the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the concealer, the Bye Bye Pores Powder, and then this. I am so excited about this. This is their Your Most Beautiful You Laugh Love Live, Lift Laugh Love, eh. Anti-Aging Matte Bronzer, Radiance Luminizer, and Brightening Blush Palette. This was $38, but, so I don't even know if I talked about the reason that I got all this stuff. It's because in the boxy charm, it gave you 10% off it cosmetics. And I want to treat myself. I should have double check with TJ. But yeah, this thing is like um, the size of half your face, but look. It's got a shimmery blush, a shimmery highlight, and another fuzzy in my eye. Oh, that is, it's like in my eyelashes. That is so uncomfortable. Anyways. And a matte bronzer. And it's really cute. It has like the imprint on it. Oh, that's adorable. And a huge mirror. But I'm going to go in with a different brush than I use for my powder. I'm, but it's the same e.l.f. complexion brush. And I'm going to dip into that bronzer a little bit. I'm going to try not to go too overboard. But you never know. We're just going to start bronzing these up the skin. I need to not talk like an idiot. Okay. I'm going to move my hair. Now I can see this bronzer almost like... Well, it can make a difference, but me, I wear bronzer kind of lightly, so I'm not sure how much of a difference you'll see with this foundation. 
I don't know. I really shouldn't call it a foundation because it is technically CC cream. It just has that nice coverage of one. But then again, I'm really bad at like applying bronzer to where like I'm bad at finding like that good medium of overboard and just right. So like half the time I'm like, it's so light you can't even see it. So I'm just gonna attempt to bronze up my skin a little bit. Can you see that? I think, I mean, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. I kind of have it lightly washed on my skin. I want to see how intense I can get this without going overboard. And it's kind of hard to tell because like I'm looking at my mirror right here, which is what I'm clicking on, and then the viewfinder. So I look in the mirror mostly. That's why I'm kind of looking down a little bit, but it looks like it's going well. I'm definitely going to try this um, product with other uh, foundations I have that are a little bit lighter than this one. But yeah, so, and I might actually go into my contour palette a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my e.l.f. mineral powder brush. This is my favorite thing for blush, usually. And I'm just going to dip into the blush and kind of put that on my cheeks. Let me see if I can swatch this. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like almost like a corally pinkish one. That's pretty. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. And sometimes I like to take my blush up here. Is it called draping? I don't know. These have a, a tiny bit of kickback in the pan, a tiny bit, but not horrible. But sometimes it just depends how hard you hit the pan. Okay, let's go to this cheek. So I'm going to use the palette mirror for that one, but not for this one. Oh, that is pretty. That's pretty, yeah. So you get your product laid down, then you kind of buff it out a little bit. I got a little too much right here. I should have placed that right here. But we can go back over that with some powder. Yeah, we're going to go back with a little bit of powder. Let's see here. Um, well, actually, I don't know if this powder would work for that. Let's just start buffing it out with that. Oh, that looks better. So I just took a fluffier brush and kind of started trying to blend over it. That helped. That definitely helped. Now let's go in with the highlight. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. small tapered brush for this. It's my favorite highlighting brush. And I'm just going to tap into that. And start at the tip of my nose. I'm going to take a little bit of my cupid's bow. I always take some on my chin. And I like, yes, I do lift up my chin like that every day. I'm a weirdo. And I start at the apples of the cheeks. Oh, that's pretty. back my hair, put a little more on my nose. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see that. That's very pretty. And I think depending on just how you apply it and the brush you use, you could go either really natural or, you know, a little more intense. I'm not sure if this is like meant to be an intense highlighter, but it does definitely give a really nice, pretty glow to the skin. I really wish I brought my brow products down, but yeah. So... That is everything that I got, the CC cream, and this is the shade Fair Light, because I don't have a yellow undertone. It is a little bit dark, so you definitely would have to blend this or mix it, but yeah, really nice coverage. Um, and then the very dirty, it, uh, oh, I didn't even, did I even use this powder? Oh, I used it under my eyes. Let's use it right here where my pores are. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Don't judge me. All right, let's get the same brush, and it does come with a little sponge if you want us to try that out. Uh, let's just use it right here. I don't know why I didn't think to use that earlier. I can't tell if it like made a huge, huge difference, but it is it is nice and silky and it does kind of set that area. So, and I don't have huge, huge pores. It kind of like, I see more at the middle of the day, but yeah. And then the concealer was nice. It was really brightening. It had some nice coverage. I have some dark circles, so that would maybe need more of a corrector. But um, still had really nice coverage. I was able to use the parts on the other part of me. And then, um, this palette, really, really nice. At least it seems nice. So I definitely want to try this to see, like, how that would look with, um, a different foundation shade, the one that matched me a little bit better. But yeah, so, overall, it looks like so far, I do like it. It's, you know, natural. I wonder how much you could build this up. I'm not entirely sure if you'd need a more dense brush for this highlighter. But it is pretty. Yeah, you can kind of build it up a little bit. It's, it, it is glowy. But yeah, 
I'll put some up here. But yeah, so that is pretty much it. These products applied really, really well. They seem to mesh beautifully together. Again, um, like I said, it's like the afternoon when I'm filming this, so I don't have any like moisturizer freshly applied on, so I don't know if that would make it glowier, and I also haven't applied, you know, mascara, anything, or my setting spray. This was purely just the It Cosmetics products that I own that I wanted to use all together to see how they looked. See how they looked, but yeah. And again, don't forget, um, 150 subscriber giveaway coming up, so be subscribed, spread the word, please turn on those notifications so you know when I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!